Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how you can upload your own custom avatars in a very simple way. Lululand? Lululand? Oh, Lululand! Shut the up! So without further ado, let's kick off the video. First of all, open this site and download Unity Hub. The link is in the description. If you already have Unity Hub installed, you can skip this step. So if you are using Windows, click here and download the Windows version. But if you are on Mac, you can also download the Mac version. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. Now, as you can see, the download has started. And after it's completed, open this app and click here to accept and install it into your drive. Now open Unity Hub and sign up to Unity. If you already have an account, just log in. Now you will see something like this. Just click here to install and then install the editor. And then go to archive and download the archive. Now the site will open. Just scroll down and select 2019 and keep scrolling down until you find this version of Unity. Now click here on Unity Hub and download it. If you are using Mac, you can download the Mac version. But I'm on Windows, so I'll download the Windows version. So just click here on Unity Hub. Now this site will ask for your permission. Just allow it, and it will redirect you to Unity Hub. Because we have to install this version in Unity Hub. The most important thing is to make sure to select Android Build Support. So be careful and select this option. Now click here to continue and it will start downloading here. The download might take some time, so please wait. Now let's move on to our next step. Now open this site and download VRChat Creator Companion. The link is in the description. Now click here and download the latest version, VRChat Creator Companion. After it finishes downloading, open this app and click here to project and create a new project. Now select Avatar Project and name your project. You can put any name. After that, click here and create project. Now it's creating the project. This red sign should already be here. You don't need to do anything. Just click here and open project. Now it's opening and it'll redirect to Unity. After your Unity opens, just click here to VRChat SDK and show control panel and click here to authentication and log in to your VRChat account. After you successfully log in, Go back to the Unity scene and drag and drop your avatar into the assets. Or you can just double click here to import and your avatar will start importing in Unity. Now click here to import. After it finishes, click here to assets and then avatars and your avatar name. Just keep clicking until you find this type of icon. After you find this type of icon, just double click and it'll open in the scene. Now click here to Avatar and then go to VRChat SDK and show Control Panel. Now fill the avatar name and the avatar description. You can type anything. Now click here and upload avatar custom thumbnails from your PC. Or you can just click here and capture the thumbnail from the scene like I'm doing. And click here to capture and it's done. Now you will probably see some errors here. Click here to auto fix and it'll automatically fix them and you have to select the platform to Windows. And now click here and agree and click here to build and publish. It will take some time, so please be patient. As you can see, it uploaded successfully. If you only want the PC version, you can go enjoy your avatar because it's done. But unfortunately, if you are a Quest user, you have to repeat this process again. Now close Unity and everything and open VRChat Creator Companion. Now click here to project and create a new project. Now click here to avatar. You can put any name, but I'm using 2.0. Now click here and your project will start creating. This red sign should already be selected, so you don't need to do anything. Just click here to open this project and it'll start opening. Now as you can see, Unity is opened. Now again follow the previous process. Just click here to VRChat SDK and show control panel and click here to authentication and log into your VRChat account. 
Now go back to the scene and again drag and drop your avatar into the assets. Or you can just double click here to import and your avatar will start importing in Unity. Now click here to import. Again, after it finishes, click here to assets and then avatars and your avatar name. Just keep clicking until you find this type of icon. After you find this type of icon, just double click and it'll open in the scene. Now click here to avatar and then go to VR Chat SDK and show control panel. This time you don't have to fill any name or description. Just click here to content manager and copy the ID of the previously uploaded avatar. Then click and go back to the scene. Now you'll see the blueprint ID. Just click here and paste this ID here and click here to attach. After it attaches, click here to VRChat SDK control panel and click here. As you can see, it's already automatically filled, so you don't need to do anything. Just keep scrolling down and change this time to Android. After it changes to Android, see here and if there are any errors, just click here to auto fix and it'll fix them. Now keep scrolling and select this option and build and publish again. It may take some time, so be patient. And after it successfully uploads, now open your VR chat on Quest and click on the avatar option. Then click on the uploaded section and you will see our uploaded avatar here. Just click on it and change into the avatar. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for your watching.